Well, the covers are off the pond. It's Tuesday and everybody's gone back to work after the Easter holidays. Uh, last night we had hail, high winds and rain. But they say the forecast is going to be pretty good from now on, so I've taken the covers off the pond. The water's a little bit uh, dirty today uh, because I've been doing some cleaning out of the bottom of the pond. Now to treat any possibility of algae and clean the water up and get rid of any bugs that might be in the pond. And to do that, my old fashioned method is this. I use this because it's perfectly good at getting rid of algae and it cleans the water up and it acts as a nice disinfectant on the skin of the fish so it can any bugs. I put 50 ml into a jar, fill the jar with water and scatter it around the pond. I did quite a bit of work through the winter. I've hired the pond up by uh, a foot and I've made it roughly two feet longer. I've taken the hedge out that was all the way along there. Built a new fence so the last bit of the new fence went up over the weekend. I've now got to build a little wall over there. Uh, that's going to be for my favourite little hedgehog that keeps coming into the garden and lives under the shed every year. So it's going to have its own little personal home in that corner. The old electrical shed's gone and I've got a small little one now, which is ideal for what I need. My tubs are still in use, uh, two tubs. Uh, ideal as filters. I don't need no more because they filter the water perfectly okay for me. So now I just wait for the water to clear up which would take probably about a day, maybe two days. I never use these uh, things like uh, clear water and all the other rest of the stuff you can buy for algae and, and what have you. I found that the, uh, the bleach does just as good a job and it's not armed, harmful to the fish. So there we go, that's it for today.